football. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live. Hello and welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium here in the northern Qatari city of Alcor. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary and alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Canada and they take on Saudi Arabia. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. And here's the starting lineup for Canada. Well, for a while, everybody played with a 4 4 2, and it can still be a very good system. But it does rely very much on your front two getting the better of their markers and the wide midfield players being good in 1v1 situations. Let's hope they play it well today. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Well, a fabulous Canadian story has been written under coach John Herdman Stewart. You and I remember watching them back in 1986 in Mexico, the last time they qualified for the World Cup. I think it's fair to say they have a better, more complete squad this time round. Absolutely, 1986. Oh, surely! And denied by the post. Clears it away. Well, what a start to the game that would have been. They certainly can't come closer than that. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Saud Abdul Hamid, Saleh Al Shekhri, Sultan Al Ghanam. And using his strength to shield the ball. He's found a pocket of space. A fine reading of the situation. He has teammates around him. Saud Abdul Hamid. And he read it well defensively. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Will that lead to the goal that puts them ahead? Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it. Al Hassan. Ali Al Hassan. Well read to win possession back. Can he put them in front? Can't miss, surely. Still alive. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Well, you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score, Derek. They've been piling on the pressure now and really should be ahead in this one. Yes, end to end stuff, but now they're forced to track back. <laughs> Nicely timed tackle. He's in control of the situation. Kyle Larin. It's with Larin. Real chance. Oh, yes! 1 0 it is. And it doesn't come as a huge surprise. I'm sure the replay will confirm he got a touch on this, which he does. So he'd be really upset that he didn't keep it out. And 
want the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Albirekan. Alganam. Saud Abdul Hamid. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. He could pick out a teammate. Will it be? And the challenge, crisp and clean. Well, very effective play in possession. Opportunity, and a goal! That's his brace, they just can't keep him quiet. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best, and the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? underway with the lead standing at 2-0 Albirekan Alhassan can they create something from here not problematic for the keeper Jonathan Osorio and the ball with Alfonso Davies K Kyle Larin how can he take them on and beat them great opportunity So one minute of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. Abdul Hani. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's making his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, what can you say about him today? He's been a real live wire. Full of tricks, great feet and good goals as well. Top stuff. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Well, he's given it away. Junior Hoylet. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Saud Abdul Hamid. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Salem Al Dosseri. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Oh, that's an interesting pass. An alert piece of defending. Saleh al Shekhvi. They look as though they want to make this move count. Albirekan. Timely intervention. Well, we're into the final half hour. Junior Hoylet. Moving the ball effectively.
He's given it away. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Alfonso Davies. Alistair Johnston. It's with Larin. Options in the middle. Well, the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong, Stuart. Well, he has to make the keeper work harder than that. That's a tame finish. Ali Al Hassan. Abdulela Al Amri. Possession one. couldn't keep it and a foul in the opinion of the referee now what can they do from this free kick situation and that is a free kick artist at work what a goal it was Well, let's look at this again. It's a great bit of skill because he has to get both top spin and side spin on the ball at the same time. Look how much Bendy gets on that. Excellent goal. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3 0. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. 15 minutes left for play. Al Shekri. Will it be? And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. K. Okay. David. Virasal Birekan. Saleh Al Shekhbi. He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and then just look at the finish, Derek. He reads the flight perfectly and absolutely smashes it beyond the goalkeeper. There's just no stopping that. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. K. Okay. Now with David. Jonathan Osorio. Alistair Johnston. Now they've lost it. Okay. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Time for a change then. Buchanan. It's with Larin in the right place to cut out the pass. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Well, an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. And there goes the final whistle. Canada have done it. Canada have won. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. 
They defended well enough, they dominated midfield and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.